Of course, we see an economy in South Korea battered by record household debt, not to mention consumer confidence dropping to new lows. But will the handling, will the successful handling of this coronavirus outbreak in the country change the narrative for President Moon Jae-in and his party? Yeah, I think by all accounts, this is Moon Jae-in and the Democratic Party's election to lose. If you had asked anyone really back in December uh, what the key issues would have been, we would have talked about household debt and other uh, Moon's economic policies. But here we are now, fast forward to April, uh, and the, the, the key issue is not a, the election being a referendum of Moon's economic policies, but how Moon is handling uh, the pandemic. And Koreans really see him as hitting the mark. Most recent uh, public opinion poll shows Moon with about 57 percent approval rating, which is up uh, about 15 points from late February, and it's his highest rating since February, uh, excuse me, since 2018. But there really are two key variables that we should look out for that could upend our expectations, the first really being uh, voter turnout. Originally, there were concerns of physically getting to the polls and voting because of COVID-19, but the government has really gone to great lengths to ensure a clean and safe polling environment. So three quarters of Korean voters which are they do not feel deterred from voting because of the virus. And there's already been a record number of uh, people showing up to vote early. So I don't think that should be as much of a problem. But the other issue to look out for uh, is that the minor parties will now win more of the 47 proportional seats out of the total 300 seats up for grabs. This is part of a new law change that was set up in December that allocates more uh, proportional voting seats uh, to the minor parties, away from the proportional, uh, away from the two major parties. So we're not really sure what to expect uh, from this just yet, but largely should expect this to be about Moon Jae-in and his handling of the coronavirus. Since the start of his presidency, Moon Jae-in has been very vocal about decreasing the power of tables or conglomerates in South Korea. How will this affect the way that those extra budget funds are dispersed? Of course, they already passed a $10 billion extra budget. They want even more money after that. That's, that's a really uh, interesting question. And we're not really sure just how that's going to play out just yet. But with the, um, the conservatives in power, They've been a little bit more skeptical of, of uh, conservatives in the National Assembly, a little bit more skeptical of uh, rolling out big public deficits to pay for uh, what the government has been doing so far, which is about $80 billion to help SMEs and lower income households. But then they're also a little bit more um, willing to uh, overlook some of the, uh, the challenges with the table that the, 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 the liberals, the, the Democratic Party, uh, isn't. So uh, it's really, if the conservatives were uh, in power right now in the National Assembly or if they were to win, it would maybe make things a little bit easier for them moving forward. But if Moon's party wins, uh, you, we could see more activity. Uh, you know, this is uh, Moon Jae-in right on a platform of really trying to reform the table. It hasn't been so successful so far. If we see uh, his party winning in uh, today, actually, if his, his party winning today, uh, and enacting, enacting major changes to, to Chabel reforms, we really could start to see um, uh, Chabel's uh, ch change in the Chabels we haven't seen yet as these Chabels come to the government asking for money. They haven't really done so just yet, uh, but it really only seems a matter of time as COVID-19 drags on. And these countries, these companies are uh, dependent, so dependent on the rest of the world, which is struggling. Uh, and then they're really structurally dependent to structurally important to the South Korean economy. So it's something that the government really can't overlook.